Oh, you don't like to do a lot of work. This was going to take a little work, but I promise you, I think it's going to be a really good idea to draw on some viewers um, to the podcast. Are you pitching a cold? Are, wait, are we having a pitch meeting? Yeah, sure. You want to think of that way. Pitch meetings are tight. Um, super easy. D- dude, just skip it. Let, you're on the clock now. Oh, okay. Impress so, me. All right, so here's the idea. So what we'll do is we get some WWE2K20 footage, and okay, what we'll do is we'll get weird shots of our characters that will make them look like us, and then we'll do a voiceover of us talking, and we'll make it like, like coming from them. And I know it's going to talk a lot of work, but I feel I, like it's going to be... Dude, you know that that's going to tax the editors here. That's going to be so much work for the editing person you're yeah that's you i know i that's gonna be a lot of work for that's me. what I, I know it's gonna be a lot of work but i think it'll really help out the episode i think it'll actually draw people in I, it, really and who's using wwe 2k20 anyway okay so i have a okay I, we still do everything i just said okay but i do the editing i like where this is going so so you think we should do that i yeah i, I don't i don't see why not i mean what what other game were you thinking? I mean, since we can't get 2K20. I thought we could get 2 Oh, well, you don't own 2K20? No, 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 no. Oh, that's I right. couldn't yeah. think of a way to get a copy at this point. Yeah, I don't think anybody's using 2K20. No. Be 2K20 anymore. No. Um, how about it? Okay. New idea. All right. All right. We'll do the same thing, but we'll do a different game. Okay. Um, I'm on board here. We do the same thing. We're pre-recording, but we do it to The Sims. I know you don't like The Sims, Tim. but... No, 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 we are not doing The Sims. There is one hard, hard rule here on ZOP Gaming, and that is no Sims. But it'd be like a pure rating draw if we did the Dude, Sims. Are you, do you not remember Cincinnati? Okay, okay, we won't do The Sims. Fucking, oh my god, what a fucking moron. He forgot Cincinnati. Cincinnati, bro. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome, welcome. It's time for As the Buckle Turns, the only podcast here on ZOP Gaming. I'm Adam. I'm Tim. I guess uh, the Doctor Who podcast got canceled. All time. No, actually, um, next weekish we should have a new episode. But then you can't say this is the only podcast. Because on... this is the only podcast right now. Yeah, sure. As Technicality. Technicality. All about the technicality. No, you keep mentioning Cincinnati. What happened in Cincinnati? Look, we don't talk about Cincinnati. Well, no. You, you, we stop it. But you keep saying, don't you remember Cincinnati whenever you disagree with me on something? I don't know what you're talking about. We don't. I'll I'll talk to you later about it. I'll remind you. Okay. Fine. Anyway, anyway, this week we've got. Well, Tim's brought some topics. Yes, I have. Uh, we've got the ratings to go over. This week has been weird on the ratings. Yeah. Uh, and results from uh, WWE TLC and Ring of Honor Final Battle. Where are we starting off, Tim? So, let's start off with the um. Let's go ratings first. Oh right. Okay. So, this week, AEW and NXT did not actually go head-to-head. No, because uh, the I think it was the NBA. I don't. Uh, yeah, because... Sporting it's, event happening. Sportsing. Yeah, sportsing happened that pushed it to 10 p.m. Okay. For um, Dynamite. So, they did not go head-to-head. And, but they were still on the same night. Yes. And both the ratings went down for both. Yes. It's understandable for Dynamite because they were pushed later in the night. Yeah. So... But, uh, uh, but yeah, AEW topped out at 775. NXT topped out at 698. Which, so they're getting closer. But the, the gap is shrinking. Yes, but the ratings keep going. Even without competition at the time slot, NXT's ratings still went down. I, I don't. Look, man, we're I'm gonna, not here to explain those things. We're, we're going to go over. One of the topics is about NXT. Well, they, I want to talk about. Yeah, they 
jumped last week and then dumped back down this week. Part, uh, mostly it went down overall because it's the holiday weekend. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's but the they, whole reason why. They Even. they still beat two weeks ago. Yes. Ah, uh, but... But it's, it's they went down across AEW the board. AEW three weeks in a row. Boop, boop, boop. Yeah, because of it's the holiday weekend. Yeah. It was rings don't go usually are down um, across the board. Oh, of course. But except this year, 2020 has to still bless us. Okay, Raw this week. 1.691 Monday. Not even sure what the hell, like one of the lowest ratings they've ever had. Yeah, but it was better than the week before, which is all that, that WWE cares about. That's true. Obviously. But then SmackDown on Friday, Christmas Day. Yep. The day that the United States barely even like, they turn on the TV, but that's about it. Yeah. It is typically like, you know, some channel that's running a marathon of something. Or football. And but or football and what do we have smackdown turns in a 3.336 oh wow the heck happened they finally got the rating fox wants from them (laughs) on christmas day no Uh, well there's a reason for this now i know reason i know why people are gonna think um the rating was so high is because they put roman reigns kevin owens is still cage match at the beginning of the show which is a good way to draw to draw in those football people who are Leave it on. Yes. But that's not the reason why. It's the same reason why Raw's rating went up. You know why? Why? Because as much as I hate to admit it, and I know you're going to hate to admit this, but Charlotte Flair's back, and she's oh, clearly no. a ratings draw. That's the whole reason Tip. why ratings went up. No. Not because of football. No. <laughs> no. That is not the reason. Hey, no. She was the only person on both shows, yeah, well, along with Asuka, and we hey, all know Asuka's not a draw. Except for, the, except for the fact that there was a bleed over, of, a serious bleed over. Uh, the first hour for SmackDown hit over 4 million. So there were people who left their TVs on. Because they heard Charlotte Flair was going to be on TV, <laughs> and they just got Roman Reigns, and they stuck around for that. Uh, <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Uh, because the second hour lost 37% viewership. Because they saw Charlotte Flair and they needed to con- knew, they, <laughs> they know were like, we're back moved, in. Just, you, you know, whatever. We had Roman Reigns, Charlotte Flair's been already been on. We don't need to pay attention to the rest of the show. <laughs> no. Means, no. We're going to talk about Charlotte Flair later in one of my topics. But, okay. But yeah, it's... it's so, this is a perfect example. Holiday week and... It is the weirdest setup we've ever like. Uh, so raw the, the ratings twenty twenty bro twenty twenty. So, so the funny thing is, um, AEW tried to do a similar thing with the bleed through yes. on Wednesday night because uh, with a basketball game or football, whatever it was, the game that was ending that pushed them to um, ten p.m. Right. It, they wanted to try to catch that bleed over. So what did they have? They put Jericho, Chris Jericho, in the opening matchup. So any maybe casual fans who were watching football would see him and be like, oh, that's Chris Jericho. I recognize him. Let me watch this. And the rating still went down, but it was also because it was later, so you're not going to have as many wrestling fans. Yep. There was probably some of a bleed over. I'd love to see the actual breakdown of that. Yes. But only that will time will tell when that actually comes out next week. Um, but it did get a conversation, a Jericho trending on Twitter. It totally did. Just not what they thought was going to be happening. It became... Let's shame Chris Jericho for his overweight body. Uh, yeah, seriously. He's got dad bod. Let him have dad bod. And people were just like, oh my god, Chris Jericho has not had a good 2020. I even saw a photo of someone comparing his, him to like this uh, January, February-ish yep. um, to now. And it's like, yeah, he ha- you could see his abs still at last uh, this time last year. Now you can't. Mm, like, no, no, you can't. 2020... Yeah, but I think part of it was because Jer- Jericho purposely stopped working, fully working out, um, because he's a heel, and baby faces. He doesn't need to. He's like, I don't need to. I'm a rock star. I'm a ratings draw. Um, I part am of the demo character. god. I don't need to. I'm that big. Also, you want me to work out, so I don't want to give you that. Of course, I'm a heel. 
So, who knows? But it was funny to see that they wanted to try to get some buzz going with Jericho. They did. It just wasn't what it they were expecting. It wasn't what they were expecting. And it kind of seemed like people who re- recognized this were turned off from I don't, watching because of how out of shape he looked. I don't I don't get it. Um, And there was the thing that he, the fact that he was, um, and we now know that he was actually turning down spots for the match. Really, the, the tagging match, but um, a lot of it probably comes down to the idea was that um, Top Flight, who they were, um, him and I believe MV, um, Maxwell Jacob Freeman and MJF were um, facing Top Flight. Uh, apparently, because Jericho's constantly telling um, the younger guys, slow down, don't do as much because they want to think they have to cram all this stuff in. Well, yeah. The belief is he was the reason why he was vetoing spots was because they had apparently had a lot of ideas and he was probably trying to teach him like no he's like guys I can't keep up with that well not just that he's probably just he was probably saying it's like do you see this body <laughs> <laughs> he was probably saying like no uh you have all those spots great you have ideas that's a great thing you just gotta learn not to have to shove them all into one match right you can use that to build toward use them in other your next match yeah. Build towards in a, them in a match against people who are doing that. Yeah, definitely. You and the young bucks go nuts. But not even for uh, me. Even against me, it's just like make sure you save it. You. Oh yeah. Every time you keep coming up with ideas, and you use them, now you've already if it's something you've never done before, something maybe new. Now and you shove like a thought of bunch of them, like five or six of them. Now yeah. you've wasted all those spots. Yeah. Save uh, that spot. Save some of these spots. Really use them later on. So it's an interesting like, idea to see how like it is. Like a real legend should be telling the younger guys, what? I know. Like actually, coaching? Yeah, actually what? coaching them. No. I know. But it was interesting. But the, yeah, the rings were all over the fucking place this I week. know. Um, this is just going to feed into Vince McMahon's um, thing saying, see, Roman's a draw. He's a draw. Um, turn baby face. And he's going to be a baby. No. Leave by, him. By, by WrestleMania, he's a baby face again. And then... Everyone just stops tuning in because it's back to shoving Romans down our throats as a baby face because Vince saw yeah, one. Now race he's the bike. suffering succotash again. Yeah. He's the he's the really nice guy. I don't think I think Roman at this point would be like, No, I'm yeah. not going back to no. that. <laughs> Heyman's like, I won't be part of that. And they're like, Don't worry, he's gonna turn on you. And you're like, Why? Yeah. <laughs> Um, this doesn't even make sense. But yeah, I just don't think I think Roman would be like, "No, I'm not going back to that. I've been doing that for so long and it, I get one writing spike and it was a bleed over from football who turned out f- tuned out for the rest of the episode." I really think that they should build Kevin to be Kevin Owens to be his actual rival. Yeah. I'm not saying the 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 person who that they have the biggest program the longest program with or anything like that well i mean yeah longest program with like there should be a constantly revisiting Mm -hmm. once maybe maybe twice a year no not too much but like definitely once once a year no um the thing how big the the program is you know you test the program the first time it goes through SummerSlam, and then they're they're kept apart and then if that program did really well, you might, you know, in the first year or two, revisit it sometime around January. Mm. If it really, if the fans latch onto it, you can then revisit that post WrestleMania. You just, the thing is, if you're going to make them like the and, true antagonist to each other. build to the next WrestleMania. But yeah, if you're going to make them the true antagonist, you don't do it, visit that feud every year. You do one big one. Then you off a year, you tease a smaller program, yeah, for a pay per view maybe, and then you keep them away for a full year and a half, and you build to another bigger program, and you that's how you basically you follow the Rock and Austin program, yeah, the Rock and um, Triple H pro, um, styles. They were facing each other, off each other a lot because at different times because injuries they had no choice, well, of course, or someone else was thrown in there, so it was a different mix, so it wasn't the same type of program, um. But you can, they kept them away from each other. When they were done, they were done. Yes, they would have little jibs and jabs throughout the rest of the year, but they were away from each other because they were in different programs. Maybe the programs would merge in as a, a part of a go-home show. Yep. But 
they were not there. But you keep them apart over time. Yeah, but you know what? This is also going to prove to Vince that only Roman is a draw and the rest of the roster sucks and of he course. needs monsters. Oh, interesting fact. Um, someone was, t- I saw someone read that, uh, I think I was actually on Russell Talk mentioned it. It's like, when ratings go bad, Vince goes back to what works in the 80s and what worked in the 80s was monsters. Yeah, that's all it was. And it's just like, that worked in the 80s because cable was brand new. Seeing stuff like that was still a rarity. So when they saw a bigger person, a dom like that, it was attracting to people because it was still so rare. Yeah. By the mid nineties, it w- it lost its it lost its there because its um catch because cable was in full blown by then, and people were like, yeah, but they can't really do anything in the ring where these smaller guys can actually move. Oh, we got the cruiser rates in there. That's some cool shit. Yep. Um. But he wants to go back to the 80s, and it won't work unless you get someone like a Keith Lee. We'll talk about Keith Lee later because I have something to say about Keith Lee okay. in WWE. But, yeah. So let's move into on the, the pay-per-views. So just a quick reminder to the our fan out there who listens. Yes. Thank um, you. You're awesome. So we've been doing this thing for, the prediction, the fuck? for our predictions. Where what the fuck? Hold on. Hold on, before we can even get to that, this is literally breaking as I'm that's clicking fun. on it. That's awesome. You and that. it is not good news. Oh, it's not? Not at all. Uh, from Cage Side Seats one hour ago, Brody Lee dies at age 41. Brody Lee? Yes. What? Where'd you get that from? Cage Side Seats. What the fuck? Yep. Um... Okay. Um Wow. Yeah. This is uh Okay, I'm going to lung disease. Holy fuck. Wow. Um I uh that Holy shit. I just was out. Um yeah. I don't. I'm going to be honest. I I can't I can't go on with this show. Dude. Um what the fuck? Wow. Okay. Um hey, Tony Khan tweeted, "I'm devastated by the loss of John Hubbard, known as to our fans as Brody Lee, formerly Luke Harper. John was a great man. His family came first, his loving wife Amanda, there's Sons, Brody, and Nolan. He loved wrestling, and he was great at it. He loved fans. Please keep him in your hearts. Damn. Ooh. What the fuck? Holy shit. I... Yeah. Um... I... Wow, the photo of... Him and his sons when he brought home the TNT with the TNT championship. Oh fuck! Damn. I am. All right. Um. So, most importantly, our thoughts go out to his family. Uh, yeah. And especially and his sons, because uh, this was a shocker. But apparently, I wonder when the lung disease hit. I don't know. But. But yeah, okay. Yeah, you can as you can tell, we're lost for words here. Mm, com- completely wasn't, right now. Wasn't expecting this. Whew. Um, damn. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. That's, I still want to do the show just because okay, I'm here, but uh, it's, it's going to be a different type. It's going to be yeah. a, a lot different. Exactly. Um, for for the rest of the show. Holy um, fuck. Like, okay. So uh, let we got to get on to... We're going we're gonna to skip re- the topics I want to talk about yeah. tonight. We're just going to go through the results, the results. And then we'll end the show just because I do want to put a show up today. And Yeah. But, um, again... Uh, He's Damn. the same age as me. Yeah. Like that that now that 
That hits me. Yeah. Way harder than I ever expected. Dude, you know what that feeling is that I just had when you told me that? I thought you were talking about something that was breaking right now. I thought you were literally talking about your fucking tablet dying. Nope. So I was like, oh, good, you take nope. care. That's why I thought you were talking about it. I was like, you go take care of that. It's like, no, no. And like, like, no. And you said, I'm like, wait, what? Oh, it took me a second to hit. But, um, dude, it was like the uh, when I was at my Bible college and a, but, uh, a friend came in and told me Eddie Guerrero passed away. It just, it's I was a like, brick what? wall suddenly hitting like, you. what? No. Nah. And I looked it up. I'm like, holy shit. Yeah, it was like, like it just felt weird. Like, oh my god. Like, because I know, it's just hearing about people talking about how, like, the Dark Order was in, like, stasis right now because it feels weird. Um, without him being without there. Because there. he injured his ankle during the rematch with Cody. Yeah. He's going to be out. Um, going to bring him back. And so they just kind of felt like in a holding pattern because when they try to do their own thing without Brody Lee, um, there, it just didn't work. So they don't, they kind of, like, just. They don't want to do anything without him with the dark. Do anything with the dark or without him. Oh yeah. Um. So now, yeah, it's like wow. Mm-hmm. I I feel bad. This here. is this is going to change a lot of things too. Like, I'm not, I'm not the biggest person of holidays. I fucking hate holidays. I don't see the point of them. Um. But I do understand why it is important to other people. People who have closer families than I have to mine, relationships and all that. It is a, it's about getting the family together all at once. I can understand that. Yeah. So but so when something like this happens around the holidays. Ugh. Yeah. Just oh God. And it sucks because like I know mm. like he was supposed to um he was gonna debut in AEW. Um not AEW. Um he was gonna be he wanted to go over to New Japan mm-hmm. once he could get back um Get you know, traveling and was nor- back to normal yep. and everything. Yep. So, but man. Okay. So, so yeah, we're gonna get back on topic uh, for this. So yeah, next week we will be doing more about Brody's career. We'll go on that because we have to do our Wrestling Kingdom um, predictions next yes. week. Uh, uh, we'll probably try. I'm gonna try to move some of the topics I want to talk about to there. Um, but we will do a little bit more on Brody there because this is just literally hitting us now as we're recording yeah yeah so it's okay um it's not like we're like pat patterson passed away or something like that mm-hmm. where like we it, having him the week even and, but we yeah. didn't have that really weren't like fans he's a legend it. he's a legend yeah um but anyway okay. so just to k- remind everyone for predictions the eight our predictions championship was held up yeah uh, i can't remember reason why because it was like 20 years ago even though it was at the Oh, I won it at Survivor Series, and I didn't want to win it at Survivor Series. Yeah. So I was like, I held it up. So it just it's vacant still. So it's vacant, um, and it will be decided at the two-night Wrestle Kingdom event predictions. Yes. But to determine that, I came up with the idea that what if one person could pick one result for both people? So, example, Okada versus Will Ospreay. And Adam won this. He would be able to pick, and he said, I know I want this one. I want to pick this match where I'm going to make sure, I'm confident Osprey is going to win this. So I'm going to make sure you can't get this victory. So he picks Osprey. I can't pick Osprey. So he effectively picks me, makes me pick Okada. Exactly. That's what you, the winner will get. So, but the thing is, it's the person who has the most matches cr- picked it, um, correctly picked it throughout all predictions we do up until Wrestle Kingdom. So we had uh, TLC. Yes. We had Final Resolution. Yes. We had uh, Final Battle. Final Battle. And there's one. War Games. War Games and War Games was the other one. So we had all those. We know who's in the lead. That is me. Yes, by by two points. By one point. Two. One. Two. One. Because you made up one with the Charlotte Flair prediction. Nope. Oh, no? Nope. We tied on the show again. But yes. Oh, that got you the tie? Yep. 
Oh, okay. We you tell me. So you are still two points ahead of me. Okay, so well, I'm up by two points. Fifteen points to thirteen points. And so, and this is the thing: is we know this going about TLC already. We already know yeah. that. But the one thing we don't know is we don't know the. We actually haven't paid attention to actually who won final battle for Ring of Honor. Nope. We don't know who won those matches, and we, so we don't know who got who got the most right of that. Exactly. So we're gonna. When I realized this, when we, I showed up to do the recording today, uh, I'm like, "Don't, don't, don't find, don't tell me. We'll nope. do it live on the show." Yes. So we're gonna save that predict those results of that show last. We're gonna do TLC first. Yes. And then we'll go with that, and we'll see who there. Because I don't remember who I picked for resolution half the time. Neither do I. Um, but still, so yes, uh, we're gonna go through the first one on a pre-show. We did not predict, so we can nope. skip that one. We didn't know that. Yep. So the show opened with Drew McIntyre versus AJ Styles versus Miz, who cashed in his money in the brief- briefcase. By Miz cashing in, I mean John Morrison cashed it in for him, but Miz was in the match. Yes. Which is allowing him to do this new, well, I didn't cash it in. John cashed it in for me. But yeah, I was in the match, but John. You guys it. just put me in the match. Yeah. It's, uh, I didn't cash it in. So he should get his money in the bank briefcase back. So that's going to be his storyline for the next month. Okay. Um, but anyway, McIntyre retired, re- retained. Okay, good, um, good, 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 good. So, we both chose McIntyre for that. Yep, we did there. Our next matchup was Sasha Banks defeating Carmella. Which was, uh, we knew that was. Yep. We, Though we were, we were yep. going to be surprised if they did a, a switcheroo just because. They could. Um, bad ratings. But this was SmackDown, so obviously it didn't happen. But exactly. If, this, if they were on Raw. I was more likely would have changed. We needed on more blonde women. Yeah, that's so, a Vince move right there. Uh, I was going to go into more about Sasha and Bailey uh, in one of the topics, but again, we're going to save that now. Yep, that's going to be saved. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, so the next matchup, we had the hurt business of Cedric Alexander and Shelton Benjamin taking on the New Day for the Raw Tag Team Championships, and the hurt business capture the Tag Team Championships. That's the one that I got wrong. Um, the her business are literally draped in gold, and I literally mean everyone is draped in gold because to the night before um, TLC, MVP won the Jiu Jitsu Heavyweight Championship Tournament. The what? Yeah, he does fights professionally. Apparently, oh, he has a gold. He has medal. a real. Yeah. Okay. He's a real champion. I'm sorry. Like, I, I understand that the, you know, the wrestling championships are real, but, but, but it's a, scripted. Yeah. No, this was actual, like, a jiu-jitsu. Okay, so um, that's a was it jiu-jitsu? competitive. It's one of those martial arts tournaments that he won in the heavyweight division, and he... Um, Good for him. So, he's been holding up a medal, so they all have gold now. Good for him. Yeah. So, which I got that one right, obviously. Um, it was just the right move because of the herpes is one of the best things on the raw. Hey. No, let me correct that. Let me, I got to make a correction on that. Yeah. The only good thing on raw. Ooh. Um, Shots fired, bro. Then we have Asuka and a mystery opponent taking on Nia Jax and Shanna Baszler, um, which we all knew it was Charlotte. It's yes, Charlotte. I put down Kari Sane as my preferred question because I've said it's probably going to be Charlotte, but I'm going to swing for the fences here. You swung for those fences? And I said Kari Sane. And it helped me tie you. Yes, but I still claim it should have been Kari Sane. <laughs> you know how much better that would have been if it was Kari Sane? Oh my God, that would have been awesome. And then the, she went to be on two sh- shows back to back. Oh, good. The Omni Flare is back. Omni Flare. And as we also predicted, Charlotte was not losing her opening, her returning match. Of course not. And now Asuka, who is two belt, has two championships, to Charlotte Flair's one, yet somehow they're presenting as Charlotte is the better deal because she is the championship. Oh, she's going. By the way, she's portraying it as a baby face now. Okay. But she's cutting a heel promo how saying she's the only Grand Slam champion in WWE because she of her Divas Championship win. Uh, no. A technicality. No, it's not. No? It, you cannot count the Divas Championship because of the announcement that Lita made at WrestleMania when they formed the um, changed it to the Women's Championship. Yeah, it was just changed. They changed it. They tried to put it over that um, as... Uh, 
No, it's a new championship as Charlotte will work out. Because nope. now you could have made that argument more legit by having the championship change to a different contender. Since Charlotte walked in as champion and walked out as champion, it's a and you use the phrasing is now known as, known as the women's championship. It is only a name change. Yeah, it was just a name change. So it's not a it wasn't a title. It no. wasn't a different title. So you it count that all counts as one title chain, yep. one reign. You cannot count it. You, Charlotte, you were not the first. Um, but anyway, moving on. Roman Reigns defeated uh, Kevin Owens in a tables, ladders, and chairs match for the Universal Championship. We knew that one. And then one week later had a cage match? Yep, less than one week. Because, what? Because Jimmy Uso got, um, Jay Uso got involved, so they put him in the cage. And Jay Uso handcuffed Kevin Owens to the cage to allow mm-hmm. Roman to win. Yeah. What the? I know. And then in the main event, Randy Orton killed Bray Wyatt, I mean The Fiend, in a Firefly Inferno match. He lit a man on fire. Which that, was, is, that is murder. Which was literally uh, just a normal Inferno match, but not because they just allowed them to put, they put the Firefly Funhouse there so they could put fire f- Inferno ma- f- flames everywhere through the arena. See, that's cool. That's cool. Um, uh, but Randy lit a man on Now this isn't like other inferno matches where somebody gets you know their back gets lit on fire for a second and then they roll around for a second and it puts it out like with Kane. Yeah. Uh and Undertaker's hand they lit his Boot. hand on fire, boot. But it gets tapped out. They didn't tap this out. Yeah. They literally lit the fiend on fire. He got like his back got caught on fire. And then he got caught on fire somewhere. I don't remember where. And no, then he, he poured re- gasoline on him. No, 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 no. He got caught on fire like the, to lose the match. Yeah. And then ran, the Fiend ran back in there. Randy caught an RKO on him. Then put the gas on him and lit on fire. Only to cut away to cut back to Randy's close up to cut back to a bad mannequin in the ring on fire. It's but, still. He lit a man on fire. I know. That. So he Randy, killed a man. That's murder. So Randy, it's murder I, one. I need to talk to you about this. You may want to um, lay low. Um, and by the way, tweeting that you killed a man and then saying the Mandal- Mandalorian is a great show and you love Baby Yoda, great way to boost your your image after killing a man. But, but quoting that in the same tweet, not a good yeah. idea. And also not a good idea to tell you what you're doing because you're pretty much told everyone you're at home. Or he's on the run and he's watching it on a tablet right now. No, I don't think so. <laughs> Live uh, tweeting it. No. <laughs> but but yeah, WWE has done nothing for Killing Man. Oh, that's right, because it was a fiend, not Bray Wyatt. Yeah. The fiend's not a man. Um, I mean, at the same time, Randy Orton has like actually tried to kill a number of people. Yeah. I mean, the punt, you know, yeah. that alone. Lighting, uh, putting the uh, Undertaker in a box, lighting that on fire. Yep. I... Y- Randy Orton has actually tried to kill a lot of people. Yeah, so, but I don't understand why he's not being punished for I don't get yeah, it. I understand if he just caught him on fire for the match and then yeah. that was it. No, after the match, he literally burnt him alive. Yeah, in the ring. In the ring. Um, So that's a, a crime. But Braun Strowman headbutts not the GM, Adam Pierce, Not an authority gets, figure. And gets um suspended indefinitely. I... Why? This like, there why. should be repercussions. Like, Randy should come back and, you know, someone, I don't know, maybe, you know, some sort of authority figure. Uh, See, this is maybe why. a GM could come out and tell Randy that you're not allowed to try, you know, light your opponent on fire after the match is over. Yeah, it just doesn't work that this way. This goes to show you why having a 70 year old being the booker <laughs> who's out of touch because he's like no it was part of the match so it's fine he doesn't have to be punished. it was no, after the, the match the, the match, match was ended, over and he didn't just burn him again to stop him he literally burnt him to kill him he yes killed someone that's a crime and and there was clearly that what he did not have safety equipment around so he couldn't just put the fire out as the entire arena starts to go up that's arson but not that just, is arson. But not just that, um, Vince. It's also the fact that um, if you had an actual Inferno match in a real fight, that would be a crime and be illegal because you're 
literally letting people on fire. So even by the justification of saying having an inferno match and having that in broadcasting, you violated the law because that would be illegal. So it's incredibly illegal. But yes, anyway, Randy Orton won. Who did we put? We put the fiend down, didn't we? Yeah, we both put the fiend down. I do did call this. I could see them giving the victory to um, Randy here last week. Yeah, but, but I still stuck with the fiend, though. Unfortunately, I should have stuck with the Randy. So we we walked out of there with five more points, mm. uh, putting you at fifteen points, putting me at thirteen points. So Adam, you have to make up two two po- point more to tie me. Now, if we end up tying. At the end of this, we'll have to go through um, final battle, ring of honor final battle. Then we'll come up with, we'll find out a solution to that. Yes, yes. So there are only two matches on this card that we disagree on. <laughs> so are, we, are you ready? Okay, no, no. We're, we'll go through it, at, through the results. Oh, I know. Um, don't tell us which. One I haven't even do. brought the tab up yet. Okay, so bring up the tab. And here we go. But we're, we're, we're Final gonna, battle, so we're 2020. Just, we'll just go down and we'll re- find out which ones we disagreed with as we get to them. Okay. So this is, there's a um, pre-show. four-corner survival match. Yep. Which we do not, I don't believe we put down here. Yeah, we did. We did? Yeah, because the winner goes on to face the television champion later in the night. Yes, we did. Where we got, so it was uh, Tony Deppen, uh, LSG, Josh Woods, and and Dak Draper. Hmm. Tony Deppen won. Okay. We got that one wrong. Okay. I think I remember say, thinking of an idea. We where... chose Josh Woods oh, because yeah. he has a Wikipedia page. Damn you, our rule, Our rule... Did not work out this, this time. This still could come back to win help for us. I do believe we picked both picked uh, on the win, the to be determined to win the television championship. No, that's one that we disagreed on. Oh, ah, okay. So when we get there, we'll find out if we're right I, on that one. Exactly. But um, uh, but yeah, it's actually normally a safe rule, especially for Ring of Honor. Yeah. But okay, all right. So the second match on the pre card. Was the pure rules tag team match. Oh, because that did end up going on to the pre-show. But yes. we did predict this. I know that. Where the foundation, Jay Lethal and Jonathan Gresham, defeated Mark Briscoe and PCO. And we both chose the foundation. Yes. We got a point. Yes. But we're tied up still. Oh, no. I'm still up by two. Sorry. That was the wrong one. The Pure Rules Tag Team match was the foundation of Tracy Williams and Rhett uh, Titus defeating Fred Yehi and Wheeler Utah. So we got both of our matches regarding the foundation correct. Okay. Well, that was easy. No, we're still. I'm still leading we by two. We are still tied. I'm still. I mean, well, in this card. Oh, yeah, in this card. But I'm still overall, leading by two. Overall, you're still just out there. All right. Next up, we have a singles match between Ray Horace and Dalton Castle. And I this one was not on our yeah, card I don't, I don't, whatsoever. I don't think we, that was actually... I think that was probably a filler match because they, they lost like th- two matches because of COVID te- ah. pos- testing. So they probably put some extra matches on here. So there might be some matches that we didn't predict. Exactly. All right. So Ray Horace won. Okay. Next up, we've got the grudge tag team match where the OGK, Matt Taven and Mike Bennett, the original be, kingdom, yeah, are taking on the righteous, Vincent and, ba- and Bateman. I really want to say Vincent Bateman, but <laughs> mm. it's Vincent and Bateman. <laughs> uh, where the OGK, original whatever kingdom, yeah, that those guys, uh, they win and we were correct. Yep. They just got re- back together. They were not losing. Uh, next up is a singles match where Brian Johnson will be taking on Dan Housen. And Dan Housen won. We both got that one correct? We both got that one correct. Okay. We're on a roll now. Yes. Uh, next up was the singles match for the Ring of Honor Television Championship. Where Dragon Lee defeated Tony Deppen. Ah. 
So you got one point right. I am within one point now to to, to draw this, and there's oh. only one other matchup that you can do it in. Oh, oh. <laughs> Next up is a singles match. Shane Taylor taking on Jay Briscoe. This is also not a pick, a match that we picked. Because Jay Briscoe was supposed to go against AC, EC3. And EC3 got COVID. And we didn't... Yeah, and that was off the card completely. It wasn't on the card yet. Yep. And Shane Taylor defeats Jay Briscoe. Okay. Now this... Um, actually, you know what? I'm skipping to the main event. Okay. I'm skipping the match that we disagree. that we disagree on. Okay. I, I want the tension. You I want, want the, the tension. tension. So in this in the main event was the Ring of Honor World Championship where Rush was taking on Brody King. Rush gets the win. We were correct on that one. Okay. Still one point away. From tying. I could tie this up right here because you chose Jonathan Gresham, and I chose Flip Gordon for the Pure Rules match for the Ring of Honor Pure Championship. Ladies and gentlemen, Jonathan Gresham defeats Flip Gordon. Tim wins by two points. <laughs> he just won the tournament. He was not dropping the belt on his first defense. Adam. That one was we tied a, like War Games was the only card that we did not tie on. Every other card we tied. So I got this lead at War Games by two, held it all the way up to final battle. Yep. Um, which technically uh, was right before TLC, but because yeah, we already knew the results, but still. Um, Lost a lead by one, but gained it back by the end, and then maintained my lead through TL- TLC. Yep. So I am your Wrestle Kingdom predictor. I get to pick one matchup when we're doing predictions next week where I can pick for Adam yes. and myself. Wow, that's going to be interesting. That's a lot of power, but... It's, it's only, over both nights yeah, of Wrestle Kingdom. Both, it's not for both shows. It's one match over all of Wrestle Kingdom. Exactly. So. So tune in next week when we give our predictions for Wrestle Kingdom 15. Yeah, because it's on a Monday this year. And Tuesday. Yes. And then the week after that, the, the second show of the new year, we will be doing shit. We'll uh, do our... Annual oh award, the as the buckle turns oh, wrestling award yes anniversary year awards I can't remember end of the 2020 fuck off year <laughs> so we are choosing all WWE matches <laughs> uh, all WWE personnel <laughs> the worst of 2020 oh I was just gonna limit everyone who got released from WWE is the only people we can pick from oh. <laughs> As part of the COVID. So, so we can't pick FTR for best tag team because nope. they were released before COVID. Exactly. They weren't part of the big uh, m- um, Tuesday um, massacre where the, all these people got released. No. Uh, so, we'll have that. We'll Ooh. determine. I got to go through and figure out how many um, awards we're going to have this year. Mm-hmm. Um, we mm-hmm. wanted to do some conversations. Um, talk about Brody Lee. Which yes. I still can't believe it. God, it 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 hits well, hard. Yeah, like wow, I was not expecting that. Um, so, but we're talking about him more uh, and all that next week at part as well as Wrestle Kingdom. It'll be an interesting show, but we're gonna cut it here because yeah, uh, after seeing that, I was just like going on and ranting about some things I can easily do because I can do that at any time. It just doesn't. The energy is in, is there. Uh, don't get me wrong. I could still rant for another hour and a half on the stuff I want to talk about. Mm-hmm. But the energy, eh, I want to because I drove all this way up here. But at the same time, it would just be me talking. I can already tell. 
Yeah, probably. Because it, I can tell it took it. That took it really out of you. Yep. <clears throat> so we're gonna end the show here. Yes. So like this, the um, this video, this podcast. If you're a Brody Lee fan, give this video a thumbs up. Come on. Definitely. Uh, Thank you. Uh, you do that. Uh, again, our thoughts and prayers go out to the um, Brody Lee's family. For, um, because, yeah, having this happen right after Christmas, um, that means yesterday was a hard day for that family. Mm-hmm. Um, with that going on. Yep. Um, but let us know down in the comment section about... your. Um, the show. Also, give us your favorite Brody Lee, Luke Harper, or any other character that you know he played. Yeah. Um, matchup, event, storyline, whatever, down in the comment section. Uh, mm-hmm. And since you made it to the end of uh, this, you're clearly liking what we're talking about, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Ding! Ring that bell. Ding! Ding! And... Make sure you turn on all notifications so you know when all other As the Buckle Turn no, podcast content. Wait, we only do As the Buckle Turn. Yeah. There's no other yeah, As the Buckle. Yeah. Other Zop, Zop gaming? gaming content goes live. Um, Adam? Yes. Yeah, I don't have the energy to do a I don't. face joke. I don't really. I. It's just not going to hit well. Yeah, get bent. Wow. <sighs>